welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a small little haul of things that I picked up from BeautyCon, which was this past weekend, and I want to say, oh my gosh, I personally liked it. I know there was a couple people that didn't really like it because there wasn't that many vendors, but I really, really enjoyed the experience, and I am really, really, really looking forward to next year. Hopefully next year it'll be a lot bigger since this was the first year that they held it in Dallas. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in. As far as vendors that were there, it was just Tarte Cosmetics, NYX Cosmetics, and Crown Brushes. And then they had like some makeup. Um, I got a little bit of everything pretty much. And we'll go ahead and start with Crown. Um, this is the eyeshadow palette that I purchased. This is the 26 Professional Contouring Palette. And I bought this palette for $15. I'm not sure how much uh, they are online with crown so I'll check and I'll put the link down below if you want to purchase this um, if you want to and it says it's a contouring palette um, which kind of confused me because these the first three rows are eyeshadows and I'm assuming these are like for blushes and contouring and they're pretty pigmented I want to say BH Cosmetics has a similar palette to this um, but I'm not too too sure um, but I'm a sucker for neutrals, so this palette is very versatile. Um, you can do day looks, night, you can smoke out some, uh, day looks or convert them into night looks. So I'm very excited. I kind of used it a little bit, uh, not that much, but it was only $15 and I did have to stand in line for this. And then, like, the whole Beauty Con Dallas thing was a little unorganized because it was, like, the very first time they held it here. So I can't judge them on it, but my experience, I had fun and I really liked it and so did my sister. I did a little vlog, a li little bit of vlogging. It was kind of hard, to be honest, but I'll post that at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, so these are pretty much the colors. Let me swatch. This color looks really pretty. And they're pretty pigmented. So that's that. That is this color here. And then let me swatch the purple, how it looks for you. They're actually pretty pigmented. So that's the purple. See, that's the purple there. And that was this purple here. So the colors are pretty pigmented. I don't want to do a lot of swatches because I have another palette that I want to swatch for you also. Um, yeah, but those are pretty much... Ugh, I have, like, eyeshadow on my fingers. Um, but that's what I bought from Crown as far as palettes. They did have um, other palettes, but I wanted that one. And then I got three brushes from them. This is a regular, like, fan brush. I don't exactly know how much each brush costs, but everything that I bought, I want to say, was, like, $30. So maybe in these three brushes, it was $15. I really don't know. It was, like, mayhem, so I couldn't... It was, like, so bad whenever you were at Crown. So like, like I said, I, ha I waited in line for maybe, like, an hour. And then I got out of line, but that's a whole different story. But anyways, um... I think I want to say I spent like $30 at Crown, but I don't exactly remember and I didn't get a receipt, so yeah. Um, but I got this fan brush. I really wanted to get um, the contouring brush. Um, I'll put a picture of it here. It's like the Eda brush by NARS, but they were sold out by the time I got there. So I was a little bummed that I wasn't able to try that brush out, but um, it's okay. I heard e.l.f. is coming out with that, a brush similar to that, and if it's as cheap as normal e.l.f. brushes, I'm really excited to, and I'm um, looking forward to that brush. So if I do buy it by e.l.f., I'll let you know how it worked. Um, but this is just another blending brush that I bought, and it doesn't have the numbers on these, actually. The only brush that has the number on it is this one, which I'll go into that right now. But these two brushes don't have numbers on it, so I don't exactly know what which ones they are from their line. But it's just a, you know, synthetic blending brush. Like I said before, you can never have enough br blending brushes, so I just decided to get one. And it's pretty, like, fluffy, and it's not as dense as the other one um, by BH Cosmetics, but I used it already. You can kind of see it has a little bit of product, and I actually like it, so you can't go wrong with that. And then the this brush that I got is angled, and it's very small. It's pretty precise. Um, and it says it's C104 Angled Blush. But it's kind of weird because the brush that I was wanting to buy from them is like a highlighting brush. Morphe has one and it's kind of like, it's kind of small like this. But then instead of angled, it like goes into like a pico, which is like, like kind of like 
poke I don't really know how to explain it I'll put a picture of, a, of that brush here but that's the brush that I wanted and they didn't have it either so I was all like well give me a brush that I can use for highlighting which obviously you can use this one but it's like more of like scattered highlight I wanted a brush that can be very precise so I can put the highlight the highlight exactly where I wanted to want to put it but they didn't have it so she recommended this brush and I've used it and it's okay like I said I don't know exactly how much this brush has cost but I'll put that down below um so those are just the two three um four things that I got from crown so I got three brushes and this palette um and it was like thirty dollars and then the things that I really really liked were from Tarte like they had some bomb ass deals like I'm not even gonna lie um, we're going to start off by this palette. It, the, the funny thing is this palette doesn't have a name to it. Um, well, I haven't looked down the line to try and look for it, but it doesn't have a name. But if I can open this, it's just a Tarte palette in its eyeshadow palette. Um, so it looks like this. So it has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 eyeshadows. And Tarte overall is is expensive. Like it's a, it's a high-end makeup in the makeup world. So this palette was twenty dollars. For original price, it was forty. So I got this palette for pretty much half off. And these colors are very, very pigmented. I'm gonna swatch this purple here only because I haven't swatched it. Wow, that is hella pigmented, right there. And that was just like a little bit. Um, and then this shimmery color, I've already used it on Saturday. I had a client on Saturday after BeautyCon, so I used it and it's really pretty that sh it's like a shimmery like pearly kind of color um i really like this palette because it has a lot of neutral colors so i'm able to use it on clients and um you know i can use it for me too um but i really like this palette this is the first time me ever trying tarte uh, cosmetics and i love this palette because it's very neutral and i got it for a pretty damn good price so i can't complain about that let me swatch this gold because i haven't swatched it yet. i want to see how it looks it's kind of the kind of the the camera kind of washes it out but it's that color right there and this palette was twenty dollars and then it comes with this little transparent thing that goes on top of it so you have the names um to each eyeshadow so that's pretty cool that's what i like about that because normally eyeshadow palettes don't have their names of each individual eyeshadow so i'm assuming that you can possibly buy these eyeshadows individually i'm not sure i'll check but if they do i'll put um i'll put the link to it down below um i did get a few other things from tarte um we're gonna start with this makeup brush here it's uh it says the buffer it's airbrush finish bamboo foundation brush and the girl that was there at the counter with Tarte um, she said that this found this brush makes it seem to your foundation is airbrush and it doesn't only have to be with the Tarte foundation it can be used for any type of liquid foundation so that's kind of really what convinced me to buy it this brush was $20 at Beautycon and it's pretty dang fluffy and like doing this like that um, it's not really having any shedding. Some of the crown brushes, I was like playing with them, like at there, I was kind of like licking them, and I was gonna buy a foundation brush, but it was like shedding a lot, and I did that like just threw me off, and I didn't buy it after all. Um, but this has had like no shedding, and it's very big, so I'm guessing it real, it's real easy to blend your foundation. I haven't used it yet, so I'll keep you updated on how it works. But I want to say the girl said this was thirty regular, and I got it for twenty, so ten dollars off. And then another thing that I got was the Tarte High Performance uh, Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. Um, this is the primer here. This is this was twenty dollars, and at the store it's thirty, so I saved ten dollars on that. And this is a lot of product. So for twenty dollars, this is a lot of product, like a lot, lot, lot. Let me see. It's one fluid ounce. So it's about as much as a foundation and this was $20 and this is really good. I've seen Nicole Guerrero use this in her videos so that's kind of like oh yeah I saw that on Nicole's, Guerrero, on Nicole Guerrero's video so I'm like let me try it out because if she likes it then I have to you know try it out. Um, but it says um, skin vigorating ingredients, avocado, sunflower seed, enhancing root, hibiscus flower, and T5 superfruit complex. It says cruelty free so they do not do their testing on animals. And 
primer and it says it's a 12 hour wear I don't know, I thought I saw something that I wanted to read to y'all, but I don't see it on here. Um, another thing that I got from them was this Tarte High Performance um, Mascara. It's called Lights, Camera, Flashes. Whoa! Um, but it's a. it comes with the eyelash curler, and it's a... I love the packaging to this, it's like so glam. Um, but it comes with the mascara, which is the high performance one. I love the packaging of the mascara. You can't really see. Oh, might as well have me. Well, this shit's hard to open, so I won't open it. Um, but it comes with a little travel size mascara, and then it comes with the eyelash curler. This was $10. I want to say this is like $20, so normal price. So majority of the stuff that I got from Tarte was pretty... It was, it was a pretty bomb-ass deal, like I said. The thing that, like, that I am obsessed with that I've used already is the palette. I love the palette. If you can find this palette online, I'll try and see if I can find the name of it or find a palette by them. Or if I can find it, then I'll link it, and then if you want to buy it, then go ahead. Um, but one thing that I thought was freaking cool, um, they had NYX there, but... When I got there, I got there at 12 and BeautyCon started at 10.30. There was like no NYX products left, which kind of threw me off. I'm like, okay, you know you're coming to BeautyCon. There's going to be a lot of crazy ass girls here trying to buy all your makeup. And you're not going to have any like for backup so you don't run out. But they didn't have that. But one thing that I thought was freaking cool, I got this for free. This is the NYC Sugar Rose Butter Gloss Set. And this comes in the color Sugar Cookie, which is this pink one here. Um, cupcake, which is the one in the middle, and and cherry pie, which is the red one. Each butter gloss at Ulta is $5.99, and I got this for free. All you had to do was take a selfie on Instagram, hashtag Nick's BeautyCon, and then show them your phone or show them the picture that you printed out to prove that you did do it, and they gave you this for free. They were also given a tote, uh, a Nick's black tote with it, but by the time that I got there, they were out of the tote bags and I didn't do this thing at 12 I did it later because I didn't even know you could do that I heard some people talking about it so then I went to go do it um but I got this for free so basically this is like a fifth like a you know 20 plus no not 20 but yeah so I thought that was like really really cool so I got this picture of me and my sister for cool for free for like memories and then one thing that I bought was a beauty con shirt whoa it's just a shirt, and this is, I got it in and small, and I thought it was cute. I was going to wear it at first, but then my sister's all like, you should really, like, frame it and put it in your beauty room. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So shout out to my sister for that bomb-ass idea. Um, but yeah, so pretty much that's basically everything that I bought at BeautyCon. Like I said, I will be putting a little bit of a clips that I was able to record and pictures. I got to meet Whaley. Oh my god, I got to meet Whaley. Like, that was, like, the highlight of BeautyCon. And then, you know, a couple other people. But, you know, I had to say what's up to my homegirl, Whaley. They were about to not let me meet her. Like, we had to wait in line, right? We had to wait in line to meet her and take a picture with her. And then, like, there was, like, four people in front of me. And they were all like, you know, she has, you know, they're not going to take pictures no more. And I was heartbroken. So, she was going to walk around, I think, and take pictures. So, instead of freaking following her and walking her around, I just, like, jumped in front of everybody. And I'm like, I'm going to take a picture with Whaley because I was, like, right here. I'm like, how are y'all going to, like, stop letting picture people take care take pictures with her? And you're just, like, right here at the very front of the line. So, that's, like, one of my bold things that I did. I will never forget that moment. I will never forget that day. Um, but, overall, that's pretty much it. Everything that I got at BeautyCon, I'll put some links and pictures down below. Um, until next time, we'll see y'all later. And if y'all have any requests, just let me know. I'm trying to be on a roll with this YouTube thing. So I'm trying to upload as many pictures, as, as many videos as possible. Um, but yeah, so um, if you have any requests, just let me know. Other than that, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Paradise. I always want a paradise. I always want a paradise. Look.
Nah, it don't take a lot to make you rich. I'm addicted to a lot of crazy shit. But I feel like money is the best drug. Sometimes hate can be the best love. Hate can be the best love. Hate can be the best love. Just landed on me, my whole city look like it's abandoned, homie